Hey guys, Tequila here with Southern Twang. Thank you for joining my YouTube channel, for subscribing, for stopping by. Today what I have is a thrift haul. Um, this is one that I picked up from my local Goodwill retail and I'm just going to jump right into it. So first off what I have is an express crochet tank top. It's very flowy and it's also sheer. And this I love. Next, I have a piece that I normally would not have picked up, not that it's not cute, but because it's not my size and the person that I was um, purchasing it for, it was too small for her, even though I thought that it would fit. It's a bandolino blue and it's a cute peasant top. It has a nice little detail here in the middle and on the sleeve as well. And my coworker wanted me to keep an eye out for things like this for her, but it just didn't work out. So this one will be for sale on my Southern Soul Thrifting eBay store. And I'll have the link down below for you. Next up what I have here is a Peter Max 1987 vintage sweatshirt. I looked it up and Peter Max is or was an artist. And so sometimes artists will sell off um, the rights to the prints of their originals and they turn it into all types of things. In this case, it was um, turned into a sweater. It's very artsy. It makes me think of SCAD, the, the Savannah College of Art and Design, which is about an hour away from, from where I live. Um, but it's very artsy. I would never wear anything like this, but um, it will be for sale on my store. Let me see this little, the, the logo label there. And it's also reversible. I'll just show you a little piece of the inside of it. So that's kind of cool. And these go for, um, I didn't see one exactly like this one, but I saw other pieces um, that were also Peter Max and they were vintage and they, they went for a decent price. So I'll let you guys know in the what sells portion of my blog, Southern Twang, uh, what it sells for. Next up, what I have here is a Chico's silk button-down blouse that has a mandarin collar. This is a blouse that I have um, worn to do my Model vs. Girl Next Door lookbook. If you don't know what that is, check it out. I'll have the link down below. But that is basically where I do a pose that a model is doing, but I do it in thrift. And that's one of my popular segments of the blog. But this is an Asian lady. And this print is very nice and the shirt silk, so of course it feels good on. Next up, I have a, I call it a broomstick skirt. I don't know the proper name for it, but it's by Decorated Originals. And it's a nice cream color. And it is very long. It goes, you know, pretty much to your ankles but it's like that bohemian feel and that's kind of what I'm into a little bit right now. And so anytime that I see these, I snag them up and it has a built-in skirt. I'm sorry, built-in slip. <laughs> now next up I have a pair of Jordans. Uh, Jordans are not my style. What got me into buying Jordans, a decent pair when I see them, is the first time that I bought some was at the Goodwill Benz in Savannah. And I paid about $2 for the, the Jordans and I sold them, they were retro or vintage, and they went for about $75. So after that, I was hooked. So these, they haven't been cleaned up yet, but I will clean them before I list them. And they look pretty decent. So if you're interested in these, just go on to my eBay site and purchase them. Ship them right to your door. Now, in case you didn't get a good, really good picture of a view of any of these items, I'll also insert them in the same video so you can see and also give you a link to my um, website that you can see 
the pictures in more detail and get more details about that purchase. And last but not least, can I have a drum roll please? No? Okay. So I paid $28.29 for six pieces. That averages out to about $4.71 plus tax. Not too bad. It's more than I would pay if I had solely gone out to source, which is which means to buy things to sell. But um, I was kind of in that store for pleasure and I saw these things and I couldn't let it pass me by. I normally pay about $2 a piece. So this is about double what I would normally pay. But hopefully the Jordans and the Peter Max vintage sweatshirt will cover that. And that's it guys. Again, thank you for joining. Don't forget to like this video, to subscribe, to check out my other thrift haul videos and garage haul, garage sale haul videos. Um, leave a comment. I'll be glad to get back to you and share this. Thank you.